Good to see you these, everybody. All right. Good morning, family. Good morning. And uh, applicants, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You guys ready to go? Yes, yes sir. sir. Good. All right. So uh, I'm going to focus what I'm going to say to the families. Um, they come in here initially to enroll what we call the delayed entry program. It's a preparatory program to prepare them for this day. Uh, hopefully you guys have all studied and uh, gotten the policies down and, and ready for training. Um, so when they come in here, I talk to them about the expectations of going into this job. Um, we do the nature of our work. We have to act in a professional manner. Of course, there's a lot of requirements of us, especially when dealing with uh, the legalities and things of going overseas. Um, however, I tell them their main job is exactly what they're saying in this oath, and that is support and defense of the Constitution. So if you've never read the Constitution, you know now, you know, read it, okay? Don't cheat the taxpayers out of their money, because that's our primary job. And if you don't understand what the Constitution says, you're, you're taking a, a wrong step forward, all right? That's the most important. Um, the family's role, I would say, is probably the largest and the reason for that is they are going into arduous environments um, there's going to be a high demand on them and it can be stressful they want the luxury of going home and having dinner or even uh, hanging out with their friends but when the, the family does things like send photos of if you painted the, the lawn chairs outside you know that involvement keeps them in the loop and keeps them connected and that's a family aspect that I can't bring to the table when they're under my leadership. Also, care packages, those are really good. A lot of times they get distributed amongst everybody and it kind of helps the group out. But that's, that's a role that the family plays that'll keep them ambitious and motivated and completing their tasks at hand. So you watch the video, you understand Articles 83, 85, and 86 of the UCMJ, do you all agree? Yes, yes sir. And you're here taking this oath of your own free will? Yes, yes, yes sir. All right, we'll go ahead and get started. It's a lot. <laughs> All right, applicants come to attention. Raise your right hand. Repeat after me. I state your full name. I state your full name. 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 You solemnly swear. You solemnly swear. To support and defend. To support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Or in the message, that I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. That I will obey the orders. That I will obey the orders. Of the President of the United States. Of the President of the United States. And the orders. And the orders. Of the officers appointed over me. Of the officers appointed over me. In accordance with regulation. In accordance with regulation. In the uniform code. In the uniform code. The military justice. The military justice. So help me God. So help me God. All right. We can give a short applause. It's kind of a